What's the difference between lossy and lossless compression? Let's take a picture. Pictures are made up of thousands or millions of tiny little blocks called pixels. Each pixel is its own color and a picture is basically all these little pixel dots of color in a specific order to create the image. Now let's take the very first pixel of this picture here in the top left hand corner. To display that picture, we need to display the color of that pixel and all colors in computers can be represented by its RGB number, its values for red, green and blue. All colors can be generated from a combination of reds, greens and blues. If a pixel has zero red, zero green but full blue at 255, then the pixel will be blue. Most color values are a number between zero, meaning none of that color, or up to 255, meaning all of that color, and any value in between representing the amount of that color. To store these three numbers, we need three bytes of information, one byte for each number. Now let's look at the very next pixel of your picture. It also has an RGB value, and so we must store its three bytes of information. And then the next pixel needs its three bytes of values to be recorded, and also the next one. And as you can see, if an image has thousands of these pixels, it will need thousands times three bytes to store the values that represent that picture. But what if we could find a way to store the values of the pixels in a more optimal way so we don't use up so much space? What if we take that first pixel and store its three bytes of RGB values and then instead of storing the next pixel or even the next couple of pixels, we simply store another number to tell us how many times that pixel's RGB value must be repeated after each other. Because in this picture, all those pixels in the first line are the same color up until it gets to that cloud part. Let's say it's 55 pixels in length for all those blue pixels. The number 55 only takes one byte to store. So to store all the values of the first line up until the cloud will now take a total of four pixels, which is much smaller than storing the same blue value of three bytes 55 times. Then we can store the value of the next pixel in the cloud and the number of times that pixel must be repeated until we get a new different colored pixel. This again takes only four bytes of information. This is a very simple explanation of how compression could possibly work. Compression is the process of modifying or encoding the bits of a file in such a way that it consumes less space. WinZip is an example of a program that compresses files. If I compress a Word document, then the file size of the document should get significantly smaller. However, if I compress an image, music or movie file, you'll notice that the file size does not really change at all. That's because multimedia files already use a compression technique based on the type of file that it is. There are two main types of compression techniques, lossy and lossless. Lossy compression compresses data by losing some of the data. This compression process involves making estimates or approximations of the data and discarding any information that is not necessary or that can't be seen. This can result in a smaller file size, but it also means that the compressed file is not an exact replica of the original and will result in a loss in quality. Examples of lossy compressed files include JPEG for images, MP3 for music or audio files, and MPEG2 or MPEG3 for video files. Lossless compression is a compression method that allows the exact original data to be reconstructed. Lossless compression uses algorithms like mathematical formulas and logic to identify and eliminate these redundant patterns. Redundancy refers to repeating patterns of data that can be represented more efficiently. This results in reducing the file size with no loss in quality, but the file is still larger compared to lossy compression techniques. Examples of lossless compressed files include PNG or RAW files for images, FLAC or WAV files for music or audio files. Taking note that WAV files are not actually compressed at all, but they fall under the lossless compression category. Most video files make use of lossy compression. Some formats can use either lossy or lossless techniques. So the difference between lossy and lossless is, with lossy compression, data is lost, which results in a smaller file size, but we do lose some of the quality. Examples include JPEG, MP3 and MPEG3 files. With lossless compression, data is reconstructed back into the original. The file size are reduced but are still larger compared to lossy compression, but there is no loss in quality. Examples include PNG and FLAC files. So now that you know the difference, you can make some important decisions on your camera settings to get the best pictures. Don't forget we post a new video every Thursday at 3 and we also have some videos on TikTok so go follow us there. But leave a like, leave a comment, share us with your friends on this YouTube channel and remember don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.